Hi, it's Felicia Starks, and today is Monday, March 23rd, and I'm in week seven, um, leading up to my third competition. And this week, the food has not really changed. I have fish and like a, a, sweet, um, a sweet potato for breakfast, and then a half sweet potato before my workout and then the other times of the day that I'm eating is fish and veggies and my veggies are green beans broccoli and asparagus because asparagus is still on sale at Walmart um <laughs> anyway um the training is progressing and so as we get closer um although I am showing shoulders when I go to the gym, it is now cover up time. So I have a jacket on or either a long sleeve shirt to um, just keep me covered uh, because you, it, mm, I know for me, you don't know who is, um, it may be someone that's in your same class, it's in your same category competing. And it's just a way for me to um, keep myself covered um, that way like no one is getting a preview of my arms or whatever before I hit the stage. I'm of course I'm probably going to have some some progress photos but for the most part just to kind of keep the element of surprise. So this is my third competition. However, this has been the most um emotional one. Last year was my first one, and you would have thought that that would have been um, kind of hard, or, you know, emotional, because it's um, transforming your body from, I went from 150-something pounds to 125, so I lost a lot of weight, and but last year, the resistance was not, I didn't have as much resistance, uh, resistance internal forces, meaning um, my own thinking, and external um and so life changes bring about emotional responses um and emotional responses can be good and they can be bad and so this journey has even though i thought it would be the same and i was trying to make it be the same and was trying to figure out like why is this so hard not hard but why is this so different and it's a new year and so things, a lot of things have changed since last year. So I cannot treat it the same as if it was last year because a lot of things have changed. So the point of my video is to encourage you that um, you will get started and you will, um, you may be three weeks in, six weeks in, this may be your third day or your first day, just to remind you and to encourage you that um, things will happen along the way life will happen along the way whatever it is that got you started with that goal that is what you have to keep present in your mind on a daily basis not even daily just on all throughout the day um, because constantly you have things that are coming through your head and you have choices all day for you to make a decision a decision on whether you're going to go out with your girlfriends for lunch even though you brought your own lunch and you know they're going to a burger joint you can probably get you a salad but you don't know about the salad dressing so it's a lot of different options that you have but it's a decision for you to make and we're faced with decisions the decisions we make can or um, may or may not affect what your ultimate goals are uh, if you go to the burger joint you could have your burger and it's not going to um, totally undo your progress but it's, it may set you back a little bit not unless you have been fasting or you're doing intermittent fasting it could set you back my point is embrace your journey know that you may have emotional days probably women more than men but embrace it and my good mentor, Joe Schroeder, Schroeder used to always say, a life worth living is a life worth recording. So if you can record either video or something 
of your journey because wouldn't it be great for your kids to be able to access all your videos that you made while you were going through whatever journey and they can have that forever so guys i hope this was an encouragement to you just to stay focused and um to remind you that i love you and that i believe in you and i want the best for you and you guys have a fantastic week talk to you later until the next video